bitches. Okay, so I've talked about what I call the West Side Banana Man. So I really don't know what else to call him because he's not really significant. Not to have like, like a really cool name like Mr. Rotten. He deserves a good name. Colonel Cuck, he deserves a good name too because their stories are more extensive. <laughs> anyway, the West Side Banana Man is just, I think he used to be a, an athlete of some kind because there were hints of that. But now he does something else that's, it's got his face around different places. And anyway, so we can't talk about who he is, but it doesn't really matter anyway because who cares? I said he's insignificant. But the story's cool. So I matched with this guy on Tinder and I'm like, he's really cute. You know, the tall, older kind, I guess, without being too descriptive, like, he, he was a tall, older, handsome man. And um, anyway, so I never, I never talked to him after Tinder and then he hit me up on Facebook dating and I was like, this is the same guy, like, he's probably a robot. But no, he was real. And I started talking to him. And he would tell me, like, you know, his fantasy, because I do the dominatrix thing, too. It's, it's not all guys that I fuck around with for fun. Like, sometimes I just go kick their ass. <laughs> That's fun, too. Anyway. Love my print shirt. Anyway, so this guy's messaging me and he's telling me what I really want is basically for somebody to sneak into his house like an intruder and violate him. He wants to feel like he's been raped. And I'm like, that sounds interesting. That sounds fun. And he tells me like that he's single and I'm like, okay, that's cool too. Um... But, you know, I, anyway, <laughs> so he's messaging me and talking about like, I'm going to leave the door unlocked and all this other stuff. Then he tells me where he lives and I'm not familiar with San Antonio all that much. But then he was like, you know, you go for Tranco and you go far. And I was like, hey, wait, <laughs> that's, that's like the bad part of town. He's like, no, no, no. It's like way far out. And then like, it's in the nice area. He's, and it. I looked him up and he was he was cool. So I drive out. Well, he tells me, you know, I want you to come in. I want you to, to do that. And I was like, okay, that sounds like fun to me. I'm in. <laughs> so I drive out there, which is because I was driving a lot at the time anyway. And it was like 20 minutes, like bucket, cruise, jam, not a big deal. Um, but I didn't really have a whole lot of stuff with me. And I was like, well, shit, what am I going to use? So I'm like, okay, I'll get a banana. I'll stop at a Walmart on the way, and I'll get one of those, like, green bananas. Because they're pretty tough. And I had condoms, because remember they used to give those little hoe bags at Planet K? And I would always carry them, so I would give them away to drunk people. Like, hey, don't get knocked up today. <laughs> don't wake up and have to buy Plan B. And um, anyway, so I had that. So I went to Walmart, and I picked up the banana. And a thing of lube and a little pack of juicy fruit. And the juicy fruit is so that I could put it on the tip of the banana before putting the condom on. Because you don't want to hurt the person. And that's a scratchy part. And you could really hurt somebody. So I was going to put the gum on the tip of the banana, the, the bottom part. Put the condom on it so that it doesn't get sucked in. There's like, you have a handle. Because the ass will suck something in and that's how you end up in the hospital and we definitely don't want to hurt anybody you gotta be professional about this <laughs> so anyway i stop at walmart and i'm getting the banana the lube and the the juicy fruit and they have this like little bin of underwear and i'm like going through them like they're like 75 cents a pair or whatever but they were like the cute little ones and 
I don't wear them often, but sometimes when I do, I use them as a hair tie. I'll take the panties off and use them to pin my hair back if my hair's getting in my way. <laughs> it's like having the best scrunchie with you all the time. Dual purpose. So I pick up these underwear and I put on a pair because like I wasn't wearing any anyway. And I go and this guy, he chickened out. He locked the door and I was like, motherfucker, I drove all the way out here. <sighs> Fuck this guy, okay. So I leave the banana, the gum, and the and the lube on his doorstep. The next day he's messaging me talking about I don't know what happened. I know I locked the door, he goes, but somebody still came in basically trying to tell me that his fantasy had really happened but it hadn't, and he was like trying to get me to come back again. And it didn't make sense to me like why he chickened out the first time because he was the one that was like begging for it. Well, come to find out it's because he had a girlfriend, but we'll get to that later. He told me he was single, like I don't care. I mean, I'm just here to rape you with a fucking banana, right? <laughs> so I leave that at his doorstep, and the next day he's messaging me talking about you know, this really happened. Somebody snuck in and then I could feel him inside of me. Yeah, sure, buddy. Like, just out of nowhere that happened. No bitch, your girlfriend came home. Anyway, so... <laughs> the next day he's wanting me to come back and I'm like, nah, fuck you, dude. I'm not driving all the way back out there for you to pull the same shit. Like, I am not into it. You're wasting my time. Fuck you. And he's like... No, 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 really. I'll, I'll leave the door unlocked. And I'm like, all right. Well, this sounds like fun. I'm in. <laughs> Telling you I'm the fucking devil. So I'm driving there and I'm thinking, well, what the fuck am I going to use? I'm definitely not going to stop at Walmart again and, you know, do all that. But I hadn't put the underwear on yet because I, I just threw them in the glove box because... It never happened, right? So I, I'm thinking like, well, what do I, what do I use? And I'm remembering that in my gym bag I have a bottle of douche, el duche. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, we'll use that. <laughs> and then I get a message come through again, and he's like, I left the kit that you that you left at my door. I put it outside, like basically. I still have the stuff and it's there waiting. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. I'll use it. But since you already put me through this shit and made me have to think of it, you're getting the summer's eve too. <laughs> and we ain't even gonna talk about it. <laughs> it's just gonna happen. <laughs> so he tells me to tell in real quiet because I don't want the dog to bark. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, make sure that it's really, really, really dark. Like, it's because he was hiding something next to his bed. Which I'll explain in a minute. Anyway, so I, I go in. And I'm like, fuck it, dude. This guy already has me pissed off. So, I have the lube. And I pull his shirt all the way up. <laughs> And I take the loop and I just all the way up and down his back. <laughs> Cold as fuck. And I put a whole bunch on there. And then I fucking wrapped the banana, did it the way it was supposed to so that it has the anchor. Well, this motherfucker, rude, did not clear the tunnel beforehand. So the banana like got dirty and I was like, oh, fucking rookie. <laughs> You're going to take it in the ass. Make sure that the hanger has been fucking hosed out. Hello. It wasn't that bad. But at the same time, it was like, guy. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I'm like molesting him with this banana. And he's pretty into it. And then <laughs> kind of finishes. So... I take the banana and I'm kind of pissed off because like, first of all, I had to drive over there twice. Second of all, like, I think that's pretty much why I was pissed off. I had to drive over there twice. But anyway, so I did the lube and I put, 
put it in his ass. And when I was done, I pulled it out and I knew it was dirty. And I was like, well, fuck this guy. <laughs> fucking asshole with his dirty ass fucking banana. <laughs> and I shoved it under his pillow. <laughs> because honestly, sometimes, you know, they get off on like the little memory of it though. Look at that. I, well, the colonel was like that. He was, he was a dirty bastard, but that was cute. Anyway, so <laughs> I put the banana under there and I get up and I'm like, fucking shit, man. I go and I'm like washing my hands. And that's when I realized why he wanted it so dark. Because next to his bed was one of those scooters that you put one knee on and you move around. And I'm like... He wanted it super dark. Because when I bu I bumped into it by accident when I was like getting on top of him to put the lube. And I was like, wait a minute. He was he was embarrassed that I would see a scooter. Because when I was washing my hands, he comes out on the scooter. <laughs> and this guy is like super athletic looking. Like he doesn't look like a feeble old man or anything like that. So he comes out on the scooter and he's like, where are you going? <laughs> like, dude, I'm leaving. But I had taken, you know, my underwear and used them to put my hair up. But I also took them down because it was getting in my way. So the underwear got lost. And he came out and he was telling me, like, well, where are you going? On his little scooter. And I was like, well, that's kind of cute. Like, whatever. But I was like, I'm leaving. And I was like, and by the way, like, those underwear are still there. They're lost. And like I said, I thought he was single. So when he he kind of brushed it off, he was like, well, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like, I guess because he knew he had a mess to clean up anyway, considering he had a girlfriend and all. <laughs> and I just put a shit banana <laughs> under his pillow. <laughs> so he's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I'm thinking... Well, he probably maybe wants to keep them, you know what I mean? Because he's obviously kinky, so let him keep the underwear. I don't care. So, I'm driving back after I left and I'm thinking, wait a minute. This guy messaged me talking about how somebody snuck in and raped him. Then had me come in and do it. And the part that he was shy about was the fact that he had a scooter. Okay. I mean, I'm not into kink shaming or anything, but if you've already gone that far with opening up about your things, I would think the scooter would be the last least of your concerns. <laughs> so anyway... The purple underwear were still there. I thought he wanted them. So I messaged him and I don't get a reply back. And it was like, it was kind of weird because he would always like reply back. And I was like, not looking for a relationship or anything, but I was just saying, hey, you know, but he was gone on Facebook. Like he had blocked me and I was like, that's weird. You know what I mean? Because I'd had my friend look him up on, on hers. And I was like, wait a minute. This motherfucker looked me up just to block me. <laughs> I was nice to him. I did him a favor. And then I was also thinking like, wait a minute. He came out on that scooter. Is he hurt? Or is he missing a leg? Like, I mean, nothing against people that are missing a leg. But it just made me wonder, like, did... Did he have it there or was it gone? Not really sure. So that kind of made me feel a little Deuce Bigelow-ish because I remember there was a scene where the chick just took off her leg and she's like, hey baby. So I was like, did I just do a Deuce Bigelow? I'm not really sure. But anyway, so then my friend looks him up on Facebook and you see that he's posting me and my business partner have decided to part ways. I'm going to open up and do my own thing, like whatever. Because she found the fucking underwear. And she was probably like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it could have been that, the shit banana. 
I don't know, but I'm thinking it was the underwear because that's probably the part he didn't clean up. Anyway, that's the story of the West Side Banana Man. And that's also a lesson on why not to lie. Because had he told me, hey, I just kind of have this fantasy, but I'm in a relationship, I would have been more careful and said, look, dude, pay attention to me. The underwear is still here. But he was brushing it off, so I assume it was because he wanted to keep them. I'm not good at reading social cues and telling people, telling what people are thinking, and I don't put a whole lot of energy into it. Not my style. So, anyway, because this guy lied, he ended up getting busted, and they had to dissolve his business over a 75-cent pair of underwear from Walmart that I was using as a hair scrunchie. <sighs> anyway, that's the story of the West Side Banana Man. I wish him well. <laughs> and the funnest part, the funnest part, I swear, I can't decide if it was squeezing the lotion, I mean the, the, the lube on his on his back or shoving the banana under his pillow because after I shoved the banana under his pillow I was like well remember the douche well I had already decided well since this guy made me have to drive out here twice and he made me have to think of it he's getting it so after that I uncapped it and you know you pop the top and unloaded it straight up in him Straight up in him. He was like, oh. Because <laughs> honestly, if you haven't ever tried an enema, they do feel good. But they feel better if they're warm. And this one had been in my car with my gym bag. And it was pretty cold. So I don't think it felt all that great. But he got, he got that. And <laughs> maybe that's why he didn't call back. Not because he got busted. And it sucks because his girlfriend was cute. You're lost, bud. Next time, don't be a liar. Toodles. <laughs>